Hey everyone, it's Francis from Sun CCTV. Today I was hoping to cover more um, of the motion detection aspect of DVRs and cameras as they are right now. As you might have heard me talking about before, um, one of the things that actually triggers motion detection, the most traditional form, is vegetation, like the leafy plant right behind me, or that plant back there. If you were to grid your DVR or your cameras so that they pick up motion within areas where wind can trigger motion detection, you'll find that plants are the most common cause for unwanted alarms or unnecessary alarms. So a warehouse back there. One of the other things you'll find is that as the day progresses and shadows change, so we have a very sharp line behind me at the warehouse door, Shadows can actually trigger motion detection as well. Any sort of movement will trip HDCVI alarms that are not programmed with facial recognition technology in mind. It's one of the reasons why we prefer facial recognition because facial recognition is programmed specifically for eyes, nose, mouth, jawline, shoulders, arms, legs, height, basically all the things that are unique to a human that other things that may be moving in your area uh, don't share, like let's say a stray cat or the neighborhood cat or a dog that's just um, moving around the area. Facial recognition is definitely superior, um, but if you're working with, let's say, a HDCVI DVR system, system, apologies, um, these are the things to be mindful about. You will get motion alarm triggers from things like shadows moving through the day, and you definitely will, on windier days, get motion alarm triggers by very leafy plants that are prone to movement. Thanks for watching. This is Francis from Sun CCTV Sydney. Catch you later.